Hello friends. In this part we will integrate Stripe Payment Gateway for online payment transaction. In this shopping cart tutorial using PHP script. For this first, we want to download Stripe Payment Integration Library. For this we have to go command prompt. And here we have go to our working folder directory. After this, we have write command like composer, require stripe slash stripe php. This command will download stripe php library in our working folder. Once you have download stripe php library, now we have go to stripe web page and login into stripe account. Here Stripe will provide you publishable key and API key, so copy both key and we will use both key for integrate Stripe in our PHP shopping card application. First we have go to order process.php file and header of this file, we have already included Stripe JavaScript library. So, here we have write type dot set publishable key method, and under this we have to define publishable key, which we have get from Stripe website, it will set your publishable key. Below this, we have make Stripe response handler function, with two argument like status, and response, this function will call back to handle response from Stripe. Under this function, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write response dot error. If there is any error occur then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write submit button id button action with attribute method, with two argument like disabled, property set to false, it will enable submit button. Below this, we have write dollar, with span tag id message with html method, and under this we have write response dot error dot message, with show method, it will display errors on the form. But suppose above condition falls, then it will execute else block of code. Under this block, we have write token variable is equal to response ID variable. Here it will get token ID. Below this, we have write dollar with form ID order process form with append method and under this, we have write input type is equal to hidden. Name is equal to token. Value attribute is equal to value of token variable. It will insert the token into form. For submit form to the server. Here we have write dollar with form id order process form. With submit method. It will submit form to the server. Now we have go to stripe pay function. And under this we have go to if block of code. And here first we have write. Dollar with submit button id with attribute method. And under this method. We have write disabled property set to true. It will disable submit button. Below this, we have again write dollar with submit button id button action with value method and under this, we have write payment processing. It will display this text on submit button. Now we have write stripe dot create token method 
This method will convert information collected by card elements into single-use token, which we can send to server for use in API call. Under this, we have write number variable, and in value we have write dollar with text box ID card holder number with value method. For store CVC detail, here we have write CVC variable, and in value we have write dollar with text box ID card CVC with value method. For expiry month data, here we have write expiry month variable, and in value we have write dollar with text box ID card expiry month with value method. For expiry year data, here we have write expiry year variable, and in value we have write dollar with text box id card expiry year with value method now here we have called stripe response handler function it will send this data to server for use in api call now we have go to payment.php file and here first we want to make database connection so here we have write include statement with database connection.php file. After making database connection, now we have write session start function. It will start session on this page. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post token variable. If this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write require one statement with strip vendor folder name slash autoload.php file. Here we have used stripe PHP library in file. First we want to set API key. So here we have stripe class with set API key method and under this we have to define API key which we have get from stripe website. Now we want to add customer to strip. So here we have write dollar customer variable is equal to stripe customer class with create method. Under this method we have to define data in array format. So, in first key, we have write email, and in value we have write dollar post email address variable. In second key, we have write source, and in value, we have write dollar post token variable value. In third key, we have write name, and in value, we have write dollar post customer name variable value. In fourth key, we have write address, and in value we have write array, because here we have to define address detail in array format. So, in this array first key, we have write line 1, and in value, we have write dollar post customer address variable value. In second key, we have write postal code, and in value, we have write dollar post customer pin variable value. In third key, we have write city, and in value, we have write dollar post customer city variable value. In fourth key, we have write state, and in value, we have write dollar post customer state variable value. And in last key, we have write country, and in value, 
we have right dollar post customer country variable value. So this way we have add customer data into Stripe. Now we have right dollar order number variable is equal to PHP rand function. It will generate random order number. After this, we have right dollar charge variable is equal to stripe charge class with create method. It will charge amount from a credit or a debit card. Under this method, in array first key, we have right customer, and in value we have right dollar customer variable with ID. In second key, we have right amount, and in value, we have right dollar post total amount variable value into 100. This is for convert amount into cent. In third key, we have right currency, and in value we have right dollar post currency code variable value. In fourth key, we have right description, and in value, we have right dollar post item details variable value. In fifth key, we have right metadata, and in value, we have right order ID key, with value dollar order number variable in array format. So, this code will charge amount from credit or debit card. Below this, we have right dollar response variable is equal to dollar charge variable with JSON serialize method. It will send charge details which we have store under dollar response variable. Now we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar response amount refunded variable value is equal to zero. And empty function with dollar response variable with failure code. And dollar response paid variable value is equal to 1. And dollar response captured variable value is equal to 1. And dollar response status variable value is equal to succeeded. If this all condition true, that means online payment transaction through completed successfully, and it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we want to store order data into MySQL table, so here first we have write dollar amount variable is equal to dollar response amount variable divided by 100. After this, we have write, dollar order data variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write double colon order number, and in value, we have write dollar order number variable value. In second key, we have write double colon order total amount, and in value, we have right dollar amount variable value. In third key, we have right double colon transaction ID, and in value, we have right dollar response balance transaction variable value. In fourth key, we have right double colon card CVC, and in value, we have right dollar postcard CVC variable value. In fifth key, we have right double colon card expiry month, and in value, we have right dollar postcard expiry month variable value.
In sixth key, we have write double colon card expiry year. And in value, we have write dollar postcard expiry year variable value. In seventh key, we have write double colon order status. And in value, we have write dollar response status variable value. In 8 key, we have write double card holder number. And in value, we have write dollar post card holder number variable value. In 9 key, we have write double colon email address. And in value, we have write dollar post email address variable value. In 10th key, we have write double colon customer name, and in value, we have write dollar post customer name variable value. In 11th key, we have write double colon customer address, and in value, we have write dollar post customer address variable value. In 12th key, we have write double colon customer city, and in value, we have write dollar post customer city variable value. In 13th key, we have write double colon customer pin, and in value, we have write dollar post customer pin variable value. In 14th key, we have write double colon customer state, and in value, we have write dollar post customer state variable value. In 15th key, we have write double colon customer country, and in value, we have write dollar post customer country variable value. So this way we have store order data in array format, in this dollar order data variable. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to, insert into order table, with table column like order number, order total amount, transaction ID, card CVC, Card expiry month, card expiry year, order status, card holder number, email address, customer name, customer address, customer city, customer pin, customer state and customer country table column. With values get from double colon order number, order total amount. Transaction ID, card CVC, card expiry month, card expiry year, order status, card holder number, email address, customer name, customer address, customer city, customer pin, customer state and customer country. This is insert query for insert order data in order table. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this, we have write dollar query variable. This method will make query for execution. Now we want to execute query, so here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. And under this we have write dollar order data variable. This method will execute query. After this, we have write dollar order ID variable is equal to dollar connect variable with last insert ID method. 
This method will return last inserted of order table. For save order item details, here we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar session shopping cart variable as dollar keys variable with dollar values variable. Under this block, we have write dollar order item data is equal to array. In first key, we have write double colon order ID, and in value we have write dollar order ID variable value. In second key, we have write double colon order item name, and in value we have write dollar values product name variable. In third key, we have write double colon order item quantity, and in value, we have write dollar values product quantity variable. In last key, we have write double colon order item price, and in value, we have write dollar values product price variable value. So this way, we have store order item details in array. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into order item table with table column like order ID, order item name, order item quantity, and order item price with values get from double colon order ID, order item name, order item quantity, and order item price. Below this order item insert query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable. For execute above query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, and under this we have write dollar order item data. It will execute above insert query, and insert data into order item table. Now we have write unset function, with dollar session shopping cart variable, it will remove this variable. Below this, we have write dollar session success message variable is equal to payment is completed successfully and transaction ID is the value of dollar response balance transaction. After this, we have write header function with location set to index.php file. It will redirect web page to index.php file. Now we have go to index.php file, and here we have write php if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar session success message, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write echo statement, with dollar session success message variable, it will display payment success message with transaction ID on this web page. Below this, we have write unset function, with dollar session success message, it will remove dollar session success message variable value, so here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser.
Friends. First we have refresh web page. And after refresh of web page. Here we can see shopping cart details at right side. And on left side we can see payment form. With pay now button. First we have directly click on pay now button. After click on pay now button. Here we can see validation error message below each required field. First we have enter valid card number details, which Stripe has provide for test online payment. After this, we have enter card expiry month detail, card expiry year details and card CVC number and then after click on pay now button. So, now we can see validation error has been removed from card details field. That means our card data validation working properly. Now we have filled customer name detail, customer email address detail, customer address, city, zip code, state and country details. So here we have fill all form field details. Now we have click on pay now button. After click on pay now button, here button has been disabled and button text has been changed. After some time page has been redirect to index.php file with success message like payment is completed successfully with transaction ID number. That means our payment through Stripe has been made successfully. Now we have going to Stripe website, and here we can see last transaction details, which we can see here. After this we have go to order table, and here we can see order details has been stored in MySQL database. So, in this tutorial series, we have make step by step shopping cart by using PHP script with Ajax, and then after we have implement Stripe payment integration. So, this is step by step tutorial on Stripe payment integration into PHP shopping cart.